Hey Cancer, Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. We're doing a face-to-face -face today. Right on. This is uh, September-ish, you know, take it how it fits, leave what doesn't. General reading for the sign of Cancer. If you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you, right? If it doesn't, just keep going, right? Don't try to make it fit. Just keep going. This is an interesting read. I am using all 78 cards of the Rider Waite deck to tell this story, okay? If you want a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. This is a general reading. This is not your reading. I guarantee you 99.999% of general tarot card readings are not your personal reading. Take that from a tarot card reader. I'm here to tell you this is not your reading. Do not make a life-altering decision on anything that I say or anybody else says in a general tarot card reading, okay? Get a tarot card reading. deepthoughtswithdana.com if you want to use me. So cancer. So remember um, last time we met, it was about um, a job loss, right? Or some kind of big fracture in your life, right? And this is kind of sort of picking up where that left off a little bit, right? So we have the Knight of Pentacles. It says you're stuck. You're stuck when it comes to your finances. You're stuck, right? The Sun cards in reverse says you're not real optimistic about the direction things are going. The Seven of Cups comes in and says you have a lot of confusion. Um, you have um, choices to make, decisions to make, and, you know, um, a lot of it's just wishful thinking, kind of, right? It's you're, you're thinking, wishing, thinking. You just don't know what to do. Ten of Swords in reverse says that there has been an, an absolute ending, an inevitable ending. To the King of Wands, something to do with your control, your power, um, your success. Six of Swords says you've had to take a regretful but necessary transition in your life. Ace of Wands says that you feel weighed down. It's also a card about a lack of motivation, but it says that you feel weighed down, okay? I want to say lack of motivation too, because this magician in reverse is about untapped talents, right? It's about somebody not, somebody not having, somebody having complete and total disregard for your abilities and worth. Broke your heart with the three of swords, sorrow, grief, painful separation. The high priestess in reverse. This is being disconnected from your intuition. It's feeling lost and confused, not knowing where to go right? Not knowing what to do. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is spiritual poverty. Not, not, not doing well at all, Cancer. Not doing well at all. Seven of Pentacles is limited success or reward, right? Limited su success or reward. King of Cups says you poured yourself into this. You poured yourself into it with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is an overinvestment in work or family commitments, right? And this King of Cups says that you poured your heart into this, into creating this, whatever this is for you. You poured your heart into it, only for it to end. The Ten of Wands in reverse talks about um, avoiding responsibility, right? Avoiding responsibility, taking on too much. Let's 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 go with taking on too much. Taking on too much, as in this burden is just so overwhelming for you. It's so overwhelming for you. To the Six of Swords in reverse, this is a card about a fall from grace, right? A fall from grace because of somebody's lying, cheating, cunning behavior. This card might also be that you're not telling anybody, right? This card might be that you're not telling anybody about what has happened in your life. Despair, right? Loss, regret, regret, disappointment, and despair, right? This also maybe kind of hints to me about maybe you're not telling anybody about what's happened in your life, right? But despair. The star in reverse, this is a lack of faith. It's a lack of faith and it's a withdrawal and a disconnection to the four of pentacles in reverse on financial lockdown. 
major self-protective mode. To the Empress, this is about codependency. Maybe people are dependent on you, right? Or this card is about a creative block as well. So maybe you are having a creative block. Maybe you can't, you can't find any, oh look, the Ace of Pentacles. You are, it's a creative block when it comes to manifesting a new financial opportunity. You don't know what you're gonna do, right? Strength comes in and says you're really pulling on strength hard, really pulling on strength hard because you feel foolish, right? You feel, you feel foolish and reckless that, that you couldn't stop this or that you didn't see this coming, right? Two of Pentacles says you're trying to balance out everything, your finances, your, your personal, your everything. You're trying really hard to find balance in things. But all you get hit with is the Five of Wands, right? All you get hit with is conflict, strife, tension, defeat, right? Defeat to the Hermit card. This Hermit card says that you're doing some soul searching and some introspection to the eight of swords you are figuring out a plan eights are about movement and action right so you're in the hermit energy soul searching doing some introspection about what you're going to do next with the eight of swords judgment card comes in and says that you need a rebirth right you need a rebirth to the hierophant you need you need a job. I think this is about a job. It could be about something else. Um, so put it where it fits for you. But this all sounds like, like you lost your job and now you're floundering and you don't know what to do. You don't know how to do it. You've maybe been applying for jobs. You keep hitting brick wall after brick wall after brick wall and um, getting hit with all kinds of conflict and defeat. And it's just a really hard time in your life. Really hard time in your life, Cancer. But you're figuring out what you need to do right here. Figuring out what you need to do. There's a judgment, a decision, right? Um, um, you need to take action to have a rebirth in your life to the Hierophant with some form of commitment, right? Some form of commitment, a job. Hierophant rules everything institutional, right? So job, um, family, marriage, commitment, uh, the PTA, right? What, Whatever. It is, but I feel like it's a job, right? Because you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. You must figure out how to get to the Nine of Cups. Hopefully you're not drinking too much, Cancer. But what you're trying to do is how to get, figure out how to get to wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. It's been a burden and a struggle for you, but you have persistence and resilience, and perhaps this has been some kind of a test. Don't know. But you have resistance, right? You have resistance after much contemplation and reevaluation. There is going to be, you have made the decision with the judgment card that there is going to be reunion. There's going to be um, celebration. You're going to get your mojo back, right? You're tired of wallering. You're tired of hitting brick walls. You've had a good minute to cry in your cereal every morning. But now it's time to stand up, pull yourself up by the bootstraps, readjust your focus, and get shit done to bring celebration back into your life, to reunite with who you were before all of this happened. Look, the Queen of Pentacles. It's time to get on the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She gets shit done. You want something done, you go to a Queen of Pentacles. She puts in the legwork. She's a business builder. She's a relationship builder. She takes care of home. She takes care of family. And she sells property, okay? I mean, she is that. And that is what you're trying to get back to right there. Queen of Swords says, you're going you're gonna to speak some truth. You're going to make a decision. Speak some truth to yourself and make a decision to yourself, right? To, to, to get the Queen of Pentacles going on. To end out one cycle and start a brand new cycle in your life and get justice for the injustice that was done to you. Going to get justice, Cancer. You're going to get justice for the injustice that was done to you. And that's all, that's all the cards. That's every card in the Rider Waite deck. So here's the, ooh, I got water on them. 
So here's the deal, is that you went through a hard time. Something, something really difficult happened to you. Um, kind of think it was a job, right? Maybe lost your job. Something really difficult happened to you. You may not have, you may not have told anyone about it. Um, and you wallered for a minute, which is okay. It is perfectly acceptable to waller for a minute when bad things happen. But now you're, you're beginning to uh, take showers again. <laughs> Go to the grocery store, right? You're beginning to formulate a plan. You are beginning to ramp up, pull yourself up by the bootstraps and um, take the bull by the horns and do what needs to be done to reestablish your position in this world. That is your reading, Cancer. Um, it was a good one. It was a good one. I hate that that happened to you. I do. I hate that that happened to you, but um, you're not going to be down for long, right? You're not going to be down for long. You're just coming out of the shock phase, and now you're going to get mad, and you're going to do something about it, okay? All right, Cancer, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Namaste.